you know, I don't think we have the outcome data to look at the direct impact of cocoflavonoids or all the suite of B vitamins that are necessary to, to lower homocysteine and their impact on blood pressure. But here's what we do know. And again, this is mechanistic and it's very strong mechanistic, but that doesn't necessarily equate to outcomes. But we know that as homocysteine is elevated, it impairs the clearance uh, something called asymmetric and symmetric dimethyl arginine. I don't know if you've talked about ADMA and SDMA. And ADMA and SDMA directly and indirectly in inhibit nitric oxide synthase. We know that homocysteine is associated with poor outcomes in cardiovascular disease. I think that this mechanism of homocysteine impairing the clearance of ADMA and SDMA is the, is the mechanistic link because when you directly inhibit nitric oxide synthase in the endothelium, you are preventing the creation of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide synthase activity via cocoflavanol uh, could, could certainly explain a reduction in blood pressure.